Hey everybody. Today I'm answering one of the most important questions in all of our programming. How to make a horizontal bar chart with equal widths on the bars using a Roy G. Biv color palette. <laughs> That's right, I'm making a pride flag. So what I'm going to do here is create a data frame. It's going to have six categories with equal counts. I'll do counts of one. And then I'll display that horizontally and I'll use a scale fill manual to get the colors exactly right. And then I'll have a few details to work out like bar width and whether or not to show the legend. So um, let's get a data frame. Let's get that data frame to start. And it doesn't really matter what the categories are called because I'm going to remove the labels later. So I'm just going to use the first six letters in the English alphabet. So letters is a built-in vector with R. I'm just taking the first six elements. So A, B, C, D, E, and F. Um, let's see here. Oh, by the way, notice that I already coded in the six colors that I need. I did that with a color dropper on my browser. I just found a pride flag and did that. If you want something a little bit more rough and ready, you can just use red, orange, yellow, and so on. All right, let's get a data frame. And I guess I'll actually get a tibble since I'm loaded, since I've loaded up tidyverse already. And I just need the one column of these cats. So pretty simple data frame. Each one only appears once, so if I make a bar chart, they'll all have, um, all the bars will be of equal height or width. Or length, I guess I should say. So let's actually do it. Let's get a really rough and ready bar chart here. It's going to look a lot worse than what I have there in the, um, in the plots pane already. At least to start, we'll work up to what we need. So my Y aesthetic should be those categories. And again, it's a geom bar, basic bar chart in R. Okay, so obviously we want some colors on this. That's going to be the first and most important thing to get. So I want these bars to be filled in according to the category. So that's a fill aesthetic. It's also cats. Now R is right now using the default color palette for ggplot. That's this sort of pastel thing. What I want to do is to specify these colors myself. So that's going to be a scale fill manual. Uh, scale because I'm changing the scale of one of my variables, in this case the fill variable. Fill because it's the fill aesthetic, not the color aesthetic technically. And manual because I'm setting them manually. And the way I say it, the syntax I use is values equals, and then I specify what I need. So values equal colors. Looking a little bit more like a pride flag now. I don't need this legend over here. Let's remove that. So it's show.legend equals false. That's nice. I need these bars to be touching. Okay. So the um, the in a ggplot bar chart, the distance between the categories is one. So sort of underneath the hood, these categories are um, leveled as one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then the width of the bars defaults, I think, to like 80 or 90%. So I want to override it and have the width of the bars be the full distance between the two category labels. So that's width equals 1. Finally, I want to get rid of the gray panel and all of these labels. So I'm going to put theme void on there, which exists pretty much for this exact kind of purpose. And there we are. We've got a nice, uh, a nice pride flag. Now, um, if you're looking for a challenge this Pride Month, I recommend working on the progress flag. You can start with this basic uh, uh, Pride flag that I just gave you and try and put in some of these other uh, um, shapes that we have on here. So can you make a progress flag? And I have a hint for you. There's probably a lot of ways to do this. I'm not a data viz specialist, so I don't know the very best way. But the hint I would give you if you're also not a data viz specialist is Geom Polygon. So have some fun playing with that. Happy Pride, everybody.